When it comes to home fire safety, I bet you think that the last place in the house that would ever catch on fire would be the bathroom. Fires, you got water here in the shower, you got water in the toilet, water in the sink. What in the world could possibly be a fire hazard in the bathroom? Well, believe it or not, your bathroom exhaust fan is a huge fire risk. Keep watching and I'm gonna tell you exactly why your bathroom fan is such a big fire hazard and what you can do to prevent a fire in your bathroom. Hi, it's Robin from SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. So let's talk about bathroom exhaust fans. Are you leaving yours run 24 seven? Bad, shouldn't do that. Those are only designed to remove moisture and warmth from the room, the bathroom, from when you get out of a shower or the bathtub. In some cases, maybe if you run it a little bit for odors, but other than that, they should only be run for those things. The idea is that they're there to try and help you cut down on mold buildup and on things that like mold that could cause allergy symptoms and also to keep the moisture from um, a structural affecting your structure somehow and decaying things um, i guess i'm thinking like we have a front door that's been rained on enough now that it's starting to get a little um, rotted down at the bottom and we're going to have to replace it so the bathroom exhaust fan is for something like that as well but how does a fire get started in a bathroom exhaust fan? Okay, if you leave it run 24 seven, as it's running, whenever you run it, however long you run it, it's sucking up dust, hair, little tiny insects, things like that. And those things can actually get stuck up in that lint screen up there. The lint will build up. And then you can have a problem either with that catching on fire or with it getting past the lint screen a little bit and maybe winding in among the, um, the bearings and the uh, structure of the fan itself. So how prevalent are these types of fires? Well, actually, the United States Consumer Safety Products Commission did a study and they found over a 20 year period, there were about 500 structure fires that could be pretty much attributed to bathroom exhaust fans. And of those nearly 500, there are about 75% of them were actually in a home. So um, yes, a restaurant might catch on fire, but in general, more of these types of fires happened in somebody's home. As far as the fires in the home, because of the fact that they can get up into the ceiling and you're not aware of the fire, they can spread through the attic before you realize that there is a fire, so they can cause some pretty extensive damage. In fact, a fire department in central Ohio said that out of the last 10 fires that they had gone to that were related to bathroom exhaust fan fires, it ended up that the damage in these houses was about $30,000 on average. So it can be quite expensive. So what's the deal with running the fan 24-7? Well, like I said, you can end up with a problem with the fan getting seized or having issues with lint um, getting stuck in there. The lint, the heat from the motor, sets the lint on fire and makes it combust. The other thing is, is that houses that are built earlier than the 1990s, so 1980s, 1970s, they didn't have the same kind of insulation and wiring that we have now in houses that are built in the 1990s and newer. So there can also be an issue with the insulation coming off of the wires and over time having those wires short out or arc and set uh, the area around the fan on fire. So if you're somebody who has a house that was built prior to the 1990s when the thermal wiring became um, a standard in the house requirement, you really need to make sure that you check your exhaust fan and clean it twice a year to prevent lint buildup. So the thing about the fan is that you want to make sure that if you're running it at all, you're only running it for 20 minutes. That's it. So how do you make sure that you only run it for 20 minutes? Well, do a, a little timer on your watch. 
You can ask your device, if you've got an Alexa or a Google Home, you can ask it to remind you, you can put a timer on, or the easy peasy way is to get yourself an exhaust fan timer like this one. So I love this one. Clearly I have it in my house. It's got that night light on it that you can see. So if you happen to walk by in the dark and you notice that the fan is still running, you could easily find it in the dark and also find the light switch because of it. But this comes, it's got 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, I usually only run it for about 10 minutes at a pop. But the point is, is it's an automatic shut off. So whatever you select for that, it's going to go ahead and turn it off after that time has elapsed. So now thinking about your older fans, when should you replace the fan? Well, first of all, you should think about it. If you're looking up there and you're seeing anything that looks like you know, there might have been some damage, fire damage at all, like um, heat damage, you know, when you have those streaks that look like maybe there, it was a little too hot. The other thing is, is if you turn on your fan and you hear that that motor takes a long time to ramp up and start running, that's another reason to do it because it means that the fan either is, the motor is all um, clogged up or it just may be old and the motor inside the bearings are going, that kind of thing. The other thing is you want to replace the fan if you find out that you flip the switch and the fan doesn't run at all. Why would you want to replace a fan that clearly is not working? Well, here's a realtor story for you. There was a realtor who showed a house like realtors do. They ran around and turned on the lights in all of the house. And when the people finished looking at the home, the realtor turned the lights off. The problem was in the bathroom, the fan had been switched on. Now it shouldn't have mattered because the fan hadn't run in three years anyway. But in this particular case, because the fan switch was on, it ended up overheating. The fan exhaust fan area caught fire and the house itself caught fire. So just because a fo um, fan motor isn't running doesn't mean it isn't a problem. And the last thing that you should do, or last time you should think about replacing the fan is if you're renovating your bathroom and you do have an older home. At that point, you might as well have the, the contractor take out the old bathroom fan to be safe and put in a new one, an updated one with thermal wiring. So I know I had mentioned to you about cleaning the fan before and how would you do that? Well, okay, in my case, it's going to be a little tough because that's about a nine-foot ceiling, so I'm going to have to get up there with a ladder. But the fan grill itself pops out um, pretty easily. You can just pull it, pull it out. And then you want to inspect it and make sure that everything looks good, that there's no lint clogging up around the fan motor itself or around the fan blades. You also want to wash that screen in warm, soapy water and make sure it's completely dry before you put it back over the fan. All right, enough about exhaust fans. I hope that you'll consider not running your fan 24 seven and any more at all, 20 minutes maximum, that's it. So thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, drop your comments in the section below. Is there anything you would like to see us do a video on? Or worse yet, did you ever have a, a problem with a bathroom exhaust fan that caught on fire? Let us know. Also, don't forget, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell after you subscribe to the channel. We put out a video every Friday on keeping seniors safe while they age in place. So if you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, you'll get an alert every time we put out a new video. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye.